These are three types of solenoid door lock, 12 volts and 24 volts, large and small. There is also this snap-on type. They are usually used in express lockers or password locks. Now let's demonstrate its basic principle. The solenoid door locks usually have two wires. One is the black negative wire and the red positive wire. We can work by supplying it with the corresponding voltage. Red connects to the positive pole of the power supply. Black connects to the negative pole of the power supply. Then let's see, what changes will it have after connecting? We can find, when I connect, this rod will shrink, this lock opens. When I release, this rod will pop out, this lock closes again. This is the basic principle of the solenoid door lock. We need to match this. Remote Control Relay Module KR1201 Make this solenoid door lock into one. Equipment that can be controlled remotely. Let's draw a simple control circuit first. We need to control the solenoid door lock. We know that there must be a power supply. The battery has a positive pole and a negative pole. Then draw an solenoid door lock. The solenoid door lock has two wires, one negative pole and one positive pole. We need to connect the negative pole of the solenoid door lock with the negative pole of the battery. Pull out the positive pole of the battery. Then pull out the positive pole of the solenoid door lock. When these two positive poles are connected, the solenoid door lock will open. When these two wires are disconnected, the solenoid door lock will close, so it is equivalent to a switch. Let's draw a switch here. We can control the opening and closing of this solenoid door lock through the switch. According to this circuit diagram, let's connect it. The negative pole of the solenoid door lock is connected to the negative pole of the battery. The positive pole of the battery is connected to one end of the switch. The other end is connected to the positive pole of the solenoid door lock. We make a simple connection through this terminal. In this way, a simple control circuit is completed. When we press the switch, the rod of the solenoid door lock will retract. The lock is open. When we release it, the rod will come out. The lock is closed. This is how to control the solenoid door lock with a switch. Next, let's start. Use the remote control relay module, KR1201, equivalent to a switch. Make the solenoid door lock a remote control device. Now we need to explain. The use of KR1201 Remote Control Relay Module. This module has five ports. They are the negative pole of the power supply, the positive pole of the power supply. There are also three relay ports, NO, COM, and NC. These three are for relays. These two are for power supply, because it is KR1201, 12 volt relay module. Its power supply is 12 volts. We need to connect a positive 12 volt to its positive pole. The negative pole is connected to GND. The wiring of these two ports is connected. Next we will explain the wiring on this side. By the way, let's also talk about the principle of this relay. If you want to understand the principle of the relay, you must know the internal structure of the relay. It's roughly like this. The COM end is a movable contact. One end of the movable contact is fixed by a spring. 
There is also a armature iron on it. There is an electromagnet under the armature iron. The electromagnet is wound around the coil. Then there are two fixed contacts here. When the coil is not energized, that is, when the relay is not working, the NC end will be connected to the COM end. The COM end is not connected to the NO end. Then when this end is energized, that is, when it works, this is energized, it will be sucked down. When it is sucked down, this is a moving contact. It will also be knocked down. After being knocked down, the NC end will not be connected to the COM end. The COM end will be connected to the NO end. Our demand is disconnected when not working, connected when working. So we take this set. We use the COM and NO ends as equivalent to our manual switch. For this module, we only need to connect four wires. Then these two wires equivalent to a switch. Let's connect these four wires. Four wires are drawn out. This is our basic circuit diagram. According to the explanation just now, we connect the COM and NO ends at both ends of the manual switch. KR1201 relay module can also control the on, off of the circuit. The rest is to power this module. We can also use batteries for power supply. But here I recommend everyone, it is best to use a wired power supply for powering the device. Or you can use this smaller module. The standby time will be longer. Black is the negative pole. Red is the positive pole. After we connect, take out our remote control. Press it. There is no response. Because we haven't learned yet, press the learning button. Press the remote control to learn successfully. So, we use the KR1201 remote control relay module to add the function of remote control. We can still use the original manual switch. Let's do it.